Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Jed here, and have you heard of Forspoken? You probably haven't, but if you're anything like me and you like to go snooping around the internet for any new games that are coming out, you may have come across this trailer. So let me get this straight. I'm somewhere that's not what I would call Earth. I'm seeing freaking dragons, and oh yeah, I'm talking to a cop! Yeah, okay, that is something I do now. I do magic, kill jacked up beasts. I'll probably fly next. Yeah, that stupid ass trailer that became such a fucking joke. It literally had people thinking the game was gonna be horrendous just off that alone and got memed to all heaven. <laughs> Turns out it was actually part of a larger trailer, and frankly, they chose the worst bit of the trailer to work with, because it got clung to all hell, and deservedly so. But at the Game Awards, they announced a demo for the game, and so here we are to see if the game is actually any good. Because despite what the trailers will show, the gameplay can actually be pretty good, and seeing the game in action is a lot more important than what some stupid trailers may make it seem. At least to me, anyways. So, ow, I just hit my mic. <laughs> So without further ado, let's just jump into it. Yeah, rap dudes put me in a bad mood. Go nuts, I cat shoes. I spit like bad food. I have to blast you. I'm sick like at you. Got street cred with no facial tattoos. A beast like baboons. You making bad tunes. I'm popping like balloons. I got some bad news. If you hating on me, you must be confused. Give me two black eyes just like a raccoon. They don't really want to see me. I can So the game starts with a cutscene introducing us to the game's main character, Frey Holland, a cat-loving sister from <laughs> who finds herself in the mystical world of Aethia, able to do magic and such. While hesitant to get involved at first, but desperate to get home to <laughs> Her newfound powers and goes on a journey throughout Aethia, slaying the Tantas, the once benevolent queens turned mad rulers. Afterwards, we're thrown onto the tutorial where we learn the basics of movement in combat, which is based around using the aforementioned magic. You use the left stick to move, hold circle to move, er, hold circle while moving to begin running and using the magic parkour system. Press triangle to collect stuff. Use R2 to use attack spells. Use L2 to use support spells and R2 or L2 along with the right stick to switch which spell you want to use respectively. You also press down the right stick to lock onto enemies. And now this is the part that I really want to focus on because the demo does something interesting here that I've never in my life seen a demo do before. And that's the fact that the game starts you already down the line on your journey. <clears throat> At least I'm assuming so anyway because you already have a Second set of magic, a bunch of skills already unlocked, and a shit ton of equipment, as well as the cutscene to start implying that Frey has been here for a fair bit as well. And frankly, I really hope it's later down the line and not the way the game actually starts, because if it is, that's a problem. Because I almost always found myself using Silas magic, not only because it's far more fun and far more useful, especially when compared to Frey's magic, to the point I almost never found myself using it, but because almost everything is vulnerable to her magic, meaning it is so much easier to just tear through everything. <laughs> now the demo gives you five objectives to work with. Those are going to the central refuge in the water garden, defeating all the enemies at Marvel Bridge, which ends in a boss fight against a pitiless arbiter. Diving into the Rosewood Fountain, which earns Frey a new spell for Silas magic called Soar, which enhances the magic power of course still even more. Improving your magic power at the Monument to Strength, which makes your magic stronger. And getting a new cloak in Guzel, which requires you to fight through a bunch of enemies to unlock a chest which gives you a cloak called, judi called ju Judicious. Fucking words, fuck. <laughs> but Judicious is a cloak that protects the wearer from being dazed. And I... I do believe that's all for the demo. But wait! There's more! Oh, wait, I, um, 
I almost forgot about the extra mission where you get to fight a boss called an Altered Kinkana. I think that's how you pronounce it. But it's a giant fucking lizard who's admittedly pretty fun to fight against, but also piss easy due to how powerful Sewer's magic is and it being into it. After beating it though, the demo actually ends and it ends with an admittedly pretty cool cutscene, which I'm now going to let play. Yeah, and admittedly, some of the banter between Frey and Cuff is pretty funny. It got a few chuckles out of me, especially being from New York, and also has a tendency to just start saying it's just sometimes. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest, some of it did get quite a few chuckles out of me. Like, just listen to some of this, man. I changed my mind. I want to rest some more. We're up now. Come on, let's shake a leg. You wouldn't be saying that if you knew how comfy that bed was. Do I sense you getting better at this, Frey? How could I not? It's that or get my ass whooped. Oh, oh. fuck back! At least somebody loves you. Everything all right? Hell yeah, we just kicked some ass. I think that does it. Let's see, what do we got here? Are you sure it's all right to just walk off with this? Well, if people will insist on leaving things lying around. I put in some serious work there. It was an acceptable effort, yes. Wow, motivational gold. Whoa, Whoa that, was that was a lot. lot. Well, it seems to be over now. Seems, seems to, be to be very, very reassuring. Short. What were we what doing again? <laughs> Get your act together, will you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never I want to see another crocodile for as long as I live. Yes, might be wise to be wary around lakes, ponds, and other bodies of water from now on. Shit! Thought I was dead for sure. You weren't the only one. Certainly doesn't look that way. What's the plan? Uh, kill everyone? <laughs> That said, the game has a lot of potential. It looks very beautiful, the exploration is nice, the combat is nice and flowy, the UI is good and is surprisingly inspired, the music is also kind of nice to listen to. Like, just listen to some of it. Also a few problems, namely the power, because if solid magic is this powerful and almost anything can get battered and cut through with the way that it is and it ain't even close to done, I worry what the other taunt his magic will be like, and I imagine it'll be even stronger, and admittedly I fear it may not end up being worth the $70 price tag. I do have intents to get the full game at some point down the line because I feel like it has the potential to be a very good game, but under but there is also that fear that under no circumstance that it will be at a full $70 and I worry that it won't be worth that price, but that's for time to tell. Anyway, that's all I really have to say about the demo, so I think it's time we move on to the video conclusion. And that was Forspoken's demo, ladies and gentlemen. As I said earlier, the game seems to have a lot of potential to make for a very good action game, and I can't wait to see the full thing in action. <coughs> Actually, real quick, before I continue, let me switch back into my regular outfit. Ah, uh, much better. Anyways, as I was saying, um, like I expected, <coughs> seeing the game in action was far- <coughs> Fuck. 
Seeing the game in action was far more important than the goofy and stupid trailers, as I left with a far more positive outlook on the game than when I went into the game. But I do believe that it could take some more time in the oven just to cook and give them something to work with, and with it coming out on the 24th of January 2023, I imagine they're still working on the game before it sends out, and it will definitely be a pretty good game, but I don't think I want to spend the full $70 on it, not personally anyways, but I do think I'm going to get it on sale if it ever does go on sale. But that's your time to tell. But what I can tell you right now is that if you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you didn't, you can tell me how much I suck as well as the YouTuber and the VTuber in the comment section down below. Anyways, I'm stop wasting your time. Peace out and enjoy yourself.